G'day everyone, it is the Captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you, of course, to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world with all of your buddies, all of your pals, and all of your mates. And the more that you share it, the more chances we have in getting 15,000 subscribers by the end of August. So let's get to it. As the voice of the voiceless, let me tell you about today's video. A deputy is on patrol when he sees a vehicle that looks very similar to an unmarked patrol vehicle. But it didn't have plates and something about it just didn't look right to the deputy. So being in a real squad car, he hits the pullover party, likes to do a traffic stop. And not only is the car a little bit iffy, but so is the silly billy stupid face driving it. He actually claims that he is an active deputy sergeant from Butts County in Georgia, but is he, or is he just a blob of boob sweat playing dress up? Let's find out. McDonald's. Uh, zone three. Need a white charger, no tag. Looks like a cop car, blue lights. Zone one, channel one. PS6 Central in service. How you doing? What's up, brother? Oh, not much. Who are you with? Uh, but I'm from Georgia, bro. We got sent down here for uh, the work the Home Depot. Uh -huh. yeah, we actually got sent back today. That's the report. Are you headed that way? I'm talking about it. Did he get to me that picture for our disorder? Where's the tag for this one? What car? Is this a county car or no? Yeah, we I pulled it off, man, because we worked this gig in Louisiana last year. That was two years ago. Mm -hmm. And, man, we had uh, local people calling police and calling the county uh, saying, why you got Georgia people working down here? And, man, it became a big mess. Okay. Yeah. All right, give me a decision. But I got all okay. stuff on. Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, there's some better in So dress up deputy Ding Dong Devara claims we were sent down here to work Home Depot and then he claims that he took the plates off the car because two years ago he was in Louisiana and someone fucking dobbed him into the cops. At what part of that story did you go, yep, that, that's fucking believable. That is 100% believable. I'm going to just say it. He's going to believe it and everything will go fucking all right for me. No, that's not true. Deputies don't just go to other states in their gear and be law enforcement. There's things that stop that from happening, right? It's just not something that deputies do. Your story is about as believable as fucking Bigfoot fucking the Loch Ness Monster in a UFO on the way to Atlantis. And if that's a county car, wouldn't keeping the fucking plate on it be policy? Bro, you should do a trick or sing a song or something, because right now you're about as useful as fucking Andre Pacelli's Game of Guess Who. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm a sergeant. But... Dude, that's, that's not a freaking patrol car. Hey, so I took it off because they always ask me questions or, you know, because we do stuff in other states and all this shit. Oh, he's got like a brown t-shirt on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That ain't no cop car. I think he's doing private security at freaking Home Depot. That's where I seen the car parked in the back this morning. Hey, it's, it's Corporal Leppard, Charlotte County Sheriff's Office in Florida. Okay, how you doing? Good. I'm just trying to verify employment of supposedly one of your deputies. Okay. You would have to call HR for that. I'm sorry. The person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that what? has not been set up yet. Hey, it's Corporal Leppard's again. Hey, I can't get through to anybody. Nobody's picking up. Um, uh, then try 770. Extra court, how may I help you? 
Hey, it's Corporal Leopard, Charlotte County Sheriff's Office in Florida. Hey. Hey, I'm trying to verify employment of potentially one of your employees down here. Um, unless it's with the magistrate court, I, I can't verify. Okay, is... Um, let me give you the number to the Butts County Commissioner's Office. It's his claim to fame. That's what he's given me. I'm trying to verify if he's even an employee, but that ain't no damn cop car. Georgia? Yeah. yeah. No tag? No tag. No. He said he took it off. No. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Jesus Christ. System. You got drugs? Uh, but County huh? Board of Commissioners is not available. Yeah. We can't verify your identity. The number from which you are calling. To leave another callback number, enter the... I've got to ask the question, is Butts County like at the ass end of Georgia or something? Because it seems everyone is at lunch or there's an orgy in the disabled toilets because no one wants to answer their phone right now. It's good to see a real deputy can see through his story like it's a display case at the Fuckhead Museum. That's a good tour too if you get to go on it. Oh, go down to the Fuckhead Museum, you get to see bloody Chili's Trifold, Glenn Chiro doing a leg sweep, Long Island Audit's hat that his nana bought him. It's a good little way to spend an afternoon. Meanwhile, the agent from Fitness Protection has fucking decided to spin his story with someone else. I bet you he's the sort of dumb fuck that would remove the batteries from his carbon monoxide alarm because the beeping was giving him a headache. Mate, just head back to your car, finish eating that entire live chicken that you've got because you're gonna need the energy. Is that why y'all... Man, I was just like, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I've, so I've, been, I've been okay, like, you know, this whole time. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry I had the blues on, man. Yeah, I'm a sergeant bus county sheriff's office. No, I understand. But I mean, the thing is, like, I, I, I didn't know my blues were wrong, man. I, mean, I, I, I understand you, know you didn't know your blues were wrong, but it's like now we're stuck here. This is a privately owned vehicle, right? Right, right, right. Blue lights, carrying a concealed weapon, which, okay, I understand. We're trying to validate your, your information um, to make sure that you are supposed to be working. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I have no problem once we can validate that. Yeah, yeah. You see the problem with the blues and no tag, that's the problem. Right, man, I, I don't read my blues, bro. Literally, I, when you pulled me over, I was like, okay, the no tag thing. I pulled it, we always pull it off and do it. Right. And then I, when I walked out, I just seen my blues on. If you go in the car, you can't see them. Well, I understand. I mean, but you, you know, understand what I'm saying? No, I understand. Yeah, hang, hang on, before we go, I'm just going to disarm yeah, you gonna disarm yeah, until right. we know. Exactly you what's going on, gun here? on you at all? Uh, I got my 380 and like my oh. AR and stuff in there. Anything else, son? No, that's it. Okay. And I got my mic here. Stand by with it. One on one, sir. Hey, it's Corporal Efforts again. Hey. Hey, I'm not getting somebody? through. I'm not getting through to anybody. Do you have a road patrol supervisor or anybody I could speak with? Captain of patrol. Let me That'd see be great. Hold on, Thank okay? you. What sort of fucking sergeant or any other law enforcement officer would crack the fucking shits waiting for their brothers in blue to do their job? It's almost like you don't know how this fucking works. I bet. When Future Bypass was born, instead of christening him with water, they had to smash a big bottle of champagne up the side of him. Your story makes the same amount of sense as spraying a spider with African body spray. I did that to a spider in my bathroom. I used me bloody African bloody body spray on him. He now goes by the name Chad and will not shut the fuck up about CrossFit. So let that be a lesson to everyone. Don't use axe or lynx to spray a spider. It just gives them confidence they don't fucking deserve. So now the real deputy is going to get the captain on the line. Let's see if he can confirm that Gravy Veins is an active sergeant at the station or not. 
Garrison. Hey, sir. It's Corporal Eppert, Charlotte County Sheriff's Office in Florida. I'm trying to verify employment. I'm out. I'm on a traffic stop down here in Florida with a guy claiming to be uh, employed by your agency. Caesar is not employed with us. Okay. Was he ever? He was. Okay. Recently dismissed or? Golly, I don't know. Six months. Okay. All right, he's still claiming to be gainfully employed by you. We've got him stopped down here in a white charger with blue lights on it. We're down in the area where the hurricane hit. So he's still claiming employment with you and everything else. He is not on our payroll. All right. Thank you, sir. That's all I need. Somebody go to jail. Uh -huh. Go make that happen. How you doing? All right. If, if that's Captain Garrison, and he, he don't know what's going on. I'm reserved with Butts County Sheriff's Office. He's okay. saying you're not employed, period. Yeah, well, he, he don't know what's going on, man. I, I can give you, we can go above him and call the sheriff. Man, me and Captain, I know it, look, it looks weird, man, but me, me and Captain, he's one of the reasons I retired early. I retired right. back last September. Okay, well, you were just indicating me that you're still employed. And well, all this. He said you are not employed. As of six months ago, you have nothing to do with the sheriff's office. Not even six months ago. It was, it was about a whole year ago. I, I went reserved with them. Okay. Well, yeah, here's, here's our squad. dilemma. It's not You're, even a real squad car. No. It's a privately owned squad car. Correct. Correct. Right? Yeah. So, and you're driving with red and blue, with the blues on. I didn't mean to. I'm really I, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. And you presented an ID that you're an active, active employee and you're not an active employee. Well, I'm reserved, brother. I can... Our our ID cards stay reserved, and I understand that. Yeah, our ours 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 don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, I just talked to my captain Bruce Knight, um, and I asked for to because you got to do 20 hours a, a year in Georgia to make sure you're basically keeping up with your hours. I just called him to make sure I'm still with the shares on. He said, "Yeah, we're good." Listen here, bitch tits. That's not how any of this works. A patrol captain that knows you has said that you no longer work at the department. You haven't worked at the department for over a year. And get this, a quick Google search actually shows that Butt County, Georgia doesn't even have a fucking reserve unit. As the real sergeant said, IDs and badges and shit are normally stamped with reserve written on it. Not just in America either, by the way, but that's pretty much fucking worldwide. Just face facts, you didn't make it through or maybe you're the chef or something and now you like to play pretend, just like Tom Cruise in Top Gun. Apart from the fact that you haven't got the charm, looks or even friends, the only difference is, is your family wants you to join Scientology so they never have to fucking visit you again. And what's the sheriff's name that you're gonna call? Let me guess, Jeremy DeWitt. Oh, I'm state certified, Sergeant. I'm state certified. Like, brother, I'm, I'm telling you, I was a sergeant, man. Hey, we're having a problem. Having a problem. Thank you. We'll get with you. But you understand what I'm saying? I'm, ha I'm having a huge problem. I, I, I understand. Huge I understand. problem. I understand, sergeant. Like, I completely understand. I was, in, I'm, I was a sergeant, too. You know right. what I'm saying? And I can call my sheriff. He can talk to See, him. See, you can call your sheriff, and how do I know that's really the sheriff? I'll, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, I will. I mean, I can, I can call anybody at the sheriff's office. I, I call the sheriff's office and I'll ask for Amanda who is, uh, who is uh, Sheriff David Long's assistant and he will prove to you or I can call Bruce Knight who was the captain there who does all the hours and stuff. Was the captain. Um, so was the who, captain. Bruce Knight? Yeah. Captain, you talk, captain Garrison? I don't know. I can't remember who he was. Yeah, Matt Garrison. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I can prove to you, brother. Um, I got... Officer Thompson, who works for La Colonia PD, who's up there, he's calling me now. You right. Know, I'm, <laughs> I don't I'm, well, here, here's the difference. You're, we you're wearing a sheriff's office shirt. You're wearing a definitely not a driving a cop car that's not a cop car. You're doing private security at Home Depot. You're representing yourself as a sheriff's deputy. You're not here mutual aid for the hurricane. Well, sir, as a reserve, we can do that. As a reserve. Oh, no, no, you have to be on a mutual aid. Private security. You're not here in mutual aid, representing your agency to help us out during the time. Because we have we have lots of mutual aid agencies that come here. Yes. So the, you're again right. riding down a road in a civilian vehicle, outfitted like a cop car with blue lights on. Man, There's I, a violation. I'm sorry about the blue lights, bro. Like that. Okay. Well, we're not going to get past that. 
Right now, I don't believe you. I'm going to be straight up honest yeah. with you. I don't believe you. And I will never, I will never put myself in a situation that I will be. What else do you have in the vehicle other than a car, a gun? You have any uh, drugs? Anything no, no, in there? No, no, man. I'm, I'm clean. I do, I do security in Georgia. That's that's just what we do, you know. Uh -huh. Hey. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The security in Georgia dress up as sheriff deputies, drive around with blue lights flashing in a pretend squad car. That's what you're fucking claiming. That's about as true as Jane Lynch becoming the world's greatest dick sucker. Minge Muncher? Yeah, I can see that happening. She's up there as championship contender. I'll give her that. But as a dick sucker? Not fucking likely. Tyrese Gibson would win an Oscar for playing Queen Elizabeth before Jane Lynch ever sucked a dick on purpose. And I say on purpose because accidents happen. Because, you know, she might be driving along one day and she's not paying attention because she's singing along to the Glee album and that. And in the other lane of traffic, there might be a busload of priests or whatever. And they're all busy fucking getting all turned on because they've been watching, you know, Ultra Boys Gone Wild or something. And they're driving along so they're not paying attention. They crash head on with one another. Jane Lynch falls out of the car and one of the priests go through the window of the bus. And as he's flying through the air, his little skirt lifts up. And of course, because he's been watching Ultra Boys go wild, he sticks a little bit hard, he falls fucking dick first into her mouth, she accidentally gags on it a little bit, and that's kind of how sucking a dick by accident happens, we've seen it on the news, we know it's a possibility, and to be honest with you, if a priest was to come out and say, Jane Lynch sucks dick the best, I'm not sure I'm going to believe him, but look, I think we know where this is headed. I don't think he's going to get out of this one too easy now that his captain's gone. I have fucking no idea who this bloke is. So he's going to have no choice but to play fuck around and find out. Um, and I'm reserved. You can't do security unless you're reserved with the sheriff's office. He doesn't know reserve. I went past Captain Garrison. It went to the sheriff. You know, just some people that don't appreciate. You know, I mean, I've been 70 years with these guys. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know. Well, for right now, we're going to detain you, period. Understand. All right, so go ahead and turn around. We'll put your hands behind your back. Okay. Can um. Put your hands behind your back. All right. You need two two sets of cuffs. I do. Right. Okay. We'll make sure we're home. Got any weapons? He's either side. This one in the car. Yeah. There's one in the car still. And I got my bag. Is that a security badge or? A... No, that's my that's my my uh, patrol shirt. Yeah. I'll... I'm so far from Buck County. You were. What? Yeah. So now you're. I'm reserved, but I'm reserved okay. with Buck County. Man, I know. I know how it seems, man. It's just, it's not like that, you know. One on one, one thirty. All right, step back oh. in. Come on, sir. Step back in. Transport. Let's have a seat. I'll give you some air rolling in there too. So you're gonna have. 130 tank? Yeah, just transport. Because she's got to swap out her vehicle down at Fleet. No you did say you had a 380 in my wallet. Yeah. Okay. And there's, there, I'll let you search. I'll let you find it and then you find it. How stupid can you? I went through Home Depot this morning. I seen that. I'm like, hmm. No tag. So no tag, he's, but it was he's nefariously the trying to hide the identity that it's not a real car. And he's, at, and he's showing himself as a. Right. Like, even and there was another guy that I didn't see. When I first went through, there was a guy. Wearing a badge, a gun on his hip with a sheriff's shirt, but right. then when I came back around, he was gone. So it's this security company. Yeah. So Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Fuckhead had decided to play a bit of dress up security at Home Depot, and get this Hugh Joe Chavez in the squad car there isn't even a licensed security officer in the state of Florida, which is about as smart as fucking a fox in a hen house and then wondering why the rooster no longer makes eye contact with you. You know, it's odd, because I actually fucked Jessica Chastain in a hen house once, but the rooster, he just started giving me high fives, which is a little bit odd, because, it, you know, she's a ginger. Let him know that it's not too late to join Jonestown either. You know, you could probably give him a job at the punchline. Well, he wants to call the sheriff, because the garrison, because he doesn't know that he's reserved. Yeah, well, he's he's in tight with the sheriff. Yeah. So he can call, call him from the jail. Even if he's a reserve, you can't. You can't be doing this. can't do this. He's out of his jurisdiction. Yeah, from Georgia.
He's playing cop. The info of that, yeah, the without a doubt. Mail, please. Satchel for PE5. PE5. 101 was asking if he could handle the death check. PE5, 101. Contact Liz now for the verification. There's a brand new store bought shirt that says Sheriff. Let's switch her over, him over to her, and throw this shit back in. We'll call him something. Oh fuck me! He even had a laptop on a swivel in the car. Fucking hell! Also, what's he doing? Smuggling a fucking a full waste station across state lines or something in his shit mobile? Like, oh, you got to help me get these Twinkie wrappers across the state border. We can't let anyone know that we've been robbing this waste station in Georgia for six months. Yeah, we're gonna put all the rubbish in the car. We're just gonna take it across the state border, and no one can stop us because we're fully grown adults, and technically that's not against the law. He also bought himself a sheriff shirt for some unknown reason because I naturally assume sheriffs would give you them if you're part of the fucking sheriff department. He's got himself some armor from Timu, which wouldn't stop a spitball, let alone a bullet. How the fuck does planet fatness get it on him? The thing would barely cover his fucking kneecap. He's got two cuffs that didn't fit him and his neck looks like a packet of hot dogs. I bet his license actually has photo continued on other side written on it. He looks like the sort of guy that would use flour when he's finished going to the toilet so he could find his dick to give it a bit of a shake. And that's not the worst part. He then uses that flour to bake a cake. He's the only guy that I know that when he goes to a wedding and there's a live band, he gets up and dances and the band skips like an old discman. Get the inventory. I'm really sorry I read my booth, man. I don't do that. You know, like, I think oh, you know, without the booze and no tag is kind of like... No, man, see, I, so the whole kicker is, we understand man. your private security. I see your cards in there, I get all that. All I even get it if you say you're still a reserve deputy. But you can't represent yourself as a sheriff's deputy, as a private security officer. You can't run down the road with a car that resembles a cop car with blue lights. Yeah. My verification through the agency that you're with, that you're no longer employed. So based on all that, this is what we're doing. My, my so you are under arrest for impersonating a police officer. Okay. If you work that out in court and it all washes out, then so be it. At this time, that's where we're at. That's what I'm doing. That's what's going on. If you just... There's nothing I can do to change it now. There's two weapons in there that I accounted for. The one you were carrying, there was also one in the console. I have both those are going to go into evidence. I'm asking you, please, like, this is a big mistake. Then you talked to the wrong person. I talked to a captain of Rope Patrol. Yeah, I talked to captain, several people. Captain Garrison, Captain Garrison does not, he, he does not know, sir. You still have no jurisdiction down right. here to be running around with blue lights yeah. on. Even if that were the case, yep. yeah, I, you're outside of your it's, state. Yes, it goes right back to what I just said. You're working as private security, but you're you're wearing all the sheriff's insignias. You represented yourself to me when I stopped you as a sheriff sergeant, not as a private security yeah, from guy. From Georgia. But not as private security. You said, oh, we're here working. You yeah, are, from as private security. Boy, that's from I understand Georgia. Georgia. But you can't represent yourself as a sheriff. What are you raising? So uh, I can't represent no, myself as a there, uh, sheriff for, uh, no, I don't want to go with you. from Georgia no. being deployed down for Home Depot? Uh, nope, you're around. not deployed as mutual aid. You're here doing private contracts. That's two different you. things. Every sergeant I know doesn't know the law very well and then begs like a bitch not to get arrested. Fucking hell. Chumba Wamba was indeed charged with impersonating law enforcement. He was also done for the open carry of a firearm because he's not a licensed security officer either. And he was also done for the blue flickers in the car. And this is going to be a huge shock to everybody. Please, sit down. I have some news to break to you. Because the sheriff, you know, the one that he's super tight with, 
yeah, had no idea who he was. So he had to enter a plea of guilty and get on a 12 month probation. So now he gets to spend time at Buddy the Jailhouse, being part of Bubba's butt brigade. He's one of the reservists there. His job is to open his butthole wide and let everyone come inside. So at least he had that going for him. On that note, it does bring us to the end of another great video. I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. I hope you've taken your shirt off, got naked if you want. Click that like and subscribe button and you're going to help me get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of August, aren't you? Because we're going to do it together. We're going to hold hands naked. We're going to run down the street together. We're just going to yell at random people and say, listen here, you random fucks. You better watch this video with us. They're going to watch the video. And before they can finish watching the video, we'll have to tell them, hey, you need to take your shirt off and get naked and then you're going to have to like this video. You're going to have to subscribe to this video and then you're going to have to join us holding hands as we run down the street to inform others about how fucking good this video is and how fucking great the captain is and how he deserves 15,000 subscribers by the end of August because if that doesn't happen, he's going to fucking cry. And once you've done all that, then I'm going to give you a super high five. You can come over to Australia and you can join the captain's orgy. I'm going to throw a big fucking orgy for everybody. It's going to be great. There's going to be tits and stuff. Oh, it's going to be awesome. But I better get going. I'm expecting a fucking phone call from Terry again. <laughs> oh, I tell you, he's a bit of an odd one, is Terry. He rings me the other day and he goes, Oh, oh, captain, you're not going to fucking believe this. I said, fucking hit me with it, Terry. What's going on, mate? What's happening? He goes, well, I had to go down to the fucking police station. I said, you went to the police station? Why? What's going on? He goes, well, I had to fucking make sure that my fucking visa to be in America was still fucking valid. I'm like, yeah, well, that's fair enough, man. I'm not sure what the police can do for you, but yeah, you, I guess you're doing the right thing. And he goes, oh, oh, that wasn't even the fucking weird part, he says. I said, well, what's the weird part? And he goes, well, on the fucking wall is fucking photos of every fucking person I've never fucking seen. I said, well, obviously it's not everyone that you haven't seen because that would be the world. But tell me more about these photos. And he goes, well, there are 10 fucking photos of 10 different fucking people. And I said to the fucking policeman, I said, what the fuck is with these pictures? I said, yeah, and what did he say? And he goes, well, the policeman fucking told me that these 10 fucking people are wanted by the fucking police. I said, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. He goes, no, no, it doesn't fucking make a lot of sense at all. Because if they were fucking wanted by the fucking police, why didn't they just keep them when they took their fucking photo? <sighs> fucking hell, Terry. All right, hooray.